So he's going to start loads of noise. Uh, Andy Roach is your first act. Please don't talk, don't heckle, and stay off your phones, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Go on, Ash, make some noise for us, bro. Do some clapping for me, mate. Yeah, you had to, you had to show him what... <laughs> make some noise for Andy Roach! Thank you very much, everybody. As Danny said, my name's Andy Roach. Hello. Andy, Andy Roach. And I know what you're thinking. Say a name like Roach. Bet you they used to call you cock in school. <laughs> and he did. They actually did. No, they did. They did. But that was just teachers in the 90s, wasn't it? <laughs> teachers in the 90s. They could get away with more, couldn't they? they could. But, but I used to get my own back. I had a teacher called Mr. Hilliard. I used to say he couldn't get his Williard. <laughs> he could. <laughs> Teachers in the 90s, wasn't it? Um, well, listen, let me say this. Well done, everybody. And I mean this, coming out and having a laugh. Give yourselves a round of applause, seriously. Yeah. No, because, exactly, yeah. It's been a tough year, hasn't it, so far? Been a th yes, there's one woman there. It's been very tough for you, has it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we've all suffered, haven't we? Cost of living crisis, wars going on. It was um, very hot for a couple of days um, <laughs> in summer. But it looks like we, we all made it through anyway, luckily for us. But we've struggled, haven't we? We've struggled the whole war going on. War going on in Ukraine, although in Russia, it's not a war, is it? Vladimir Putin says it's a special military operation. Anyone heard this? Special military, yeah, you have, haven't you? Yeah. Some people are upset about that. I'm not, right? Because now, if you're up to anything dodgy, <laughs> just call it something else. Just rebrand it, it's fine. For example, if you're putting a little bit of weight, you're not getting fat. It's a waste expansion strategy. <laughs> yeah. If you sleep with someone else, it's not an affair. It's an alternative body situation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or get caught masturbating. It wasn't a wank, it was a solo sexual maneuver. Come on. <laughs> You can have it. You can have it, mate. Free of charge, that fella. Yeah, a lot of people are unha unhappy with Russia at the moment, and I am too. But I was already unhappy with Russia, to be honest with you, because of all the cheating in sport that they did. All the cheating in sport, yeah. I had to try and find a sport where I knew they weren't cheating that I could get invested in. And eventually I did find it. Darts. <laughs> Do you know I'm convinced none of the darts players are cheating? because they all look absolutely fucked, don't they? Every, <laughs> every single darts player looks dreadful, don't they? I watched a final the other day, a final. Both players look like they'd just come out of intensive care. Honestly, <laughs> one, of them had a one of them had a drip. You know that guy? You know that guy that stands next to them reading out the scores? I found this out, that's not his main job. He's an on-call doctor. <laughs> Johnny, you require 150 and a triple heart bypass. They just don't go in for the whole sports science thing, is what I'm saying, darts players do. They just, they just don't bother with sports science. They come out looking like they're on a stag weekend, don't they? <laughs> These shit shirts on, nicknames on the back with Jager bombs. <laughs> the top sports people now, they look like they've been chiselled out of granite, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Darts players look like they've been chiselled out of Victoria Sponge. That's all I'm... <laughs> that's a, I'm not having a go. I'm not having a go. I, I think it's doing amazing, isn't it? It's doing amazing, isn't it, mate? Dart. They play in arenas now. Arenas, 10,000 people watching darts. It's a pub game, isn't it? It's one step up from the fruit machine, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Imagine seeing the O2 filled, watching someone trying to nudge for the jackpot. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. Well, uh, listen, as you might have picked up, I'm from uh, Liverpool. Yeah, very proud to come from Liverpool. I'm sick of these stereotypes about scousers. A mate of mine from London, he moved up to Liverpool, and when he did, his parents bought him a steering wheel lock. <laughs> <laughs> they thought, you cheeky bastards. So when they came up to visit him, right, 
I nicked their car. Be no, they basically, <laughs> they were asking for it, weren't they? Basically, baby, do it. Uh, uh, something I find quite funny about Liverpool is that we've got a Titanic-themed hotel in Liverpool. Mm, yeah, she spent a night in the Titanic-themed hotel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bit weird, isn't it? Titanic, it wasn't built in Liverpool. It didn't set sail from Liverpool, but we've got a Titanic-themed hotel, nonetheless. Anyway, I was down in the Titanic-themed hotel the other day for a drink, and behind the bar, you didn't have any ice. You couldn't... Um, <laughs> You couldn't write that, could you? <laughs> you could, I've never been, it was a joke. It was, uh, we're all, we're having fun, aren't we? Sunday night, why not? Bit weird, though. Bit weird, Titanic-themed hotel, because let's face it, Titanic wasn't a success story, was it? Let's be, it was a tragedy, wasn't it, really? It was a disaster, yeah? More fitting to have a museum, if anything. In Liverpool, we've got a slavery-themed museum. We haven't got a slavery hotel, have we? <laughs> You've got a few travel lodges, like, so maybe... A <laughs> little bit similar, innit? A little bit similar. A lot of talk about immigration at the moment in the UK, isn't there? Yeah, a lot of talk about immigration, and I don't want to be unpopular here tonight. But I actually do think there's a problem with immigration, myself, in this country. We need to be asking different questions of people when they're coming in. It should be questions like, are you honest? Are you tolerant? Are you hardworking? And if they say yes, they're not going to fit in, are they? <laughs> not going <laughs> to... Kidding? Fit in in the UK, are they? We're not hardworking at all. We want four-day weeks. We want early retirement. I went through a set of traffic lights on the way here that were part-time. Even traffic lights aren't doing a, a full shift. Hardworking. There's a few worried looks at first for a minute there, wasn't there? This... This guy's starting a rally on a Sunday night. You know. it's, all, it's all good. We're still joking. It's fine. It's fine. Got a homeless problem in Liverpool as well, which is really sad to see. And I know when I see a homeless person, it makes me feel grateful for what I've got. You know what I mean? Roof over my head. I love my family. Headphones and Spotify. Because you don't really want to chat. Uh, the, the, uh, sometimes split the room, that one, didn't it? Split the room. That's fair enough. You know what? I can make jokes like that because I've done some work for a, for a homeless charity, actually, by the way. Okay, so, yeah. Well, no, fine. Fine. It was half a day about six years ago, to be fair. So, you're right to be judgmental. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, homeless charity reached out to me not so long ago. They said, Andy, do you want to sleep rough for the night to have an authentic homeless experience and raise awareness? I said no, to be honest, yeah, I said no. Got a bitchy response back from the organiser, though. Andy, do you not care about homeless people? I said, no, I do, but I don't think I should have to sleep rough to prove it. You know what I mean? I care about people with diarrhoea. <laughs> Got me to shit myself. <laughs> no, it's a real charity in Liverpool. They ask people to sleep rough for the night, have an authentic homeless experience, and raise awareness, and there's a list of items on their website to bring with you when you have an authentic homeless experience. Number one on the list was a sleeping bag. Can't argue with that, can you? Number two on the list was a packed lunch. <laughs> the authentic. <laughs> Makes it sound like anyone that's homeless started out on a day out. <laughs> and it went really wrong. <laughs> Set off for Alton Towers, ended up on smack, that type of thing. <laughs> Number three on the list was the best. Number three, genuinely on the list of items to bring with you when you have an authentic homeless experience. Board games. <laughs> When's the... <laughs> Board games? When's the last time you've seen a homeless person play a Monopoly? Anyone seen that? Homeless person with a house on Park Lane? Come on. <laughs> um, I think I'm out of time. This has, been, this has been great. You're in for a great night, let me tell you that. I've been Andy Roach. Take care and uh, good night. Andy Roach, everybody!